I'm talking to Leo and I'm talking to Danny. Okay, and Cigar Guy and, and what are the other guys' names? Austin and Dino. I want the five of you to put your fucking money where your mouth is. Okay, I looked up Danny Mullen's net worth. He has it. He's good for it. So put 100K on each of you. Tough guy. Okay, let's see what you got. I'm ready. You guys are fucking silent from your end. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we're going to rip into everyone's fucking favorite huge loser, otherwise known as Danny Mullen, okay, with his little fucking queer sidekick Leo, that make up the duo, the Danny and Leo show. Okay, here we have a couple fucking huge losers running their mouth in the face of endless empirical evidence, trying to challenge the best guy in the game at his own craft, okay, to which I responded to, for those of you that didn't see part one. We'll pop up the thumbnail and the info card. Basically, and we're going to hear in the very beginning of this clip here, uh, Danny and Leo challenged me along with a few of their sidekicks, Cigar Guy, and they're going to name the names in a moment here. And they said, we would go out to a bar and crush this guy and, and run circles around him, and we'd get girls and he wouldn't, and we'd get girls first. Okay? I made a response video that said, okay, not only is the challenge accepted, but let's fucking raise the stakes. Okay, I want to make a 10K minimum bet with each one of you, okay, which comes out to 50K for the five of them. But I said, I'm willing to wager up to 100K on any one of these guys, okay? And I, and I preferably would like to wager 100K on all of them, okay? So that would make a 500K bet with these five little fucking losers, okay, who just like to run their mouth and have a whole bunch of unsubstantiated claims, okay? But we're going to go through, and, and since then, there's been crickets, okay? I've contacted uh king croc and, he, and he's and i've told him to send the stuff to them which he did these guys have seen the video all their fucking minions reported back to them and there's been silence full-on crickets okay these guys are huge pussies they like to run their mouth and they're gonna fucking back down now okay as expected okay? And, and people are like oh you're bluffing first of all i can prove that i have the funds to back those bets second of all it's easy fucking money for me okay they want to go challenge lebron james in basketball tiger woods in golf Oh, LeBron could never make a shot against me. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, then bet the fucking money, pussies. Here, here I am again. I'm here. Okay, where are you? Where's your response? Okay, I'll get your fucking personal cell numbers and I'll text you about it. Okay, and we can put up your response about how you guys are fucking huge pussies. Oh, we didn't, we didn't mean that. Uh, then take the fucking challenge. Okay, so uh, let's go through the rest of my response. Here, here they're breaking down me taking 75 phone numbers in two hours with my old business partner and just throwing shade on it for no reason okay even though I, I look great in these clips there's hot girls literally being like hey make sure you text me and they're like oh these girls can't wait to run home and shower so let's let's continue but before we continue i have an eight-week mentorship program that helps you master the entire seduction game extremely quickly what to text how to run your dates how to pick up girls in the bars and clubs during the daytime uh, how to close when you're back at the house, how to set up your whole online profile, how to keep them around for a rotation for a harem. At the time of this recording, I am up to 1,383 girls. Okay, I'll put up the graph here where I've been plotting my re results since the beginning. And I have a video that explains in painful detail all my evidence for banging over 1,000 girls. Okay, because a lot of guys are skeptical because it's a high number. Good thing I have more proof than the rest of the industry combined. Okay, so... Uh, without further ado, also, if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below. We'll get some fucking uh, Danny Mullen loser fanboys to the sub count here. Okay, so <laughs> let's continue on. This guy, I would be amazed if he's had sex with more than 15 women. Me too. And I'd be amazed if more than half those shit. women were conscious. Danny Mullen would be amazed if I've slept with over 15 women and if over half those women were conscious. Okay, and here's a news flash, Danny Mullen. My record in a weekend was 18 new girls. I have a whole video detailing that out. We'll put the thumbnail out there, okay? And I've, I've been averaging 100 to 150 girls a year for a very long time, okay? Since 2012, basically. We'll put up the graph again to show that. But yeah, more baseless shit. I'd be surprised if LeBron James could make even one three-pointer. Okay, he's baseless crap. Claiming a hun <laughs> almost a hundred times that amount. No, I'm saying he's claiming almost a hundred times that amount. Fifteen hundred? Okay, I, I, like, it's like fourteen. Okay, or here's whatever. what I'm gonna tell you right now. Me, Leo, Austin, cigar guy. Here it is. Me, Leo, Austin, cigar guy. This is his challenge here.
Here's what I'm going to tell you right now. Me, Leo, Austin, Cigar Guy, and you know what? Dino could go head to head with this guy in a bar and blow him out of the water. We could go head to head with this guy at the bar and blow him out of the water. Look, Mr. Fucking Mullet Loser Boy. This dude looks like he's fucking tripping on acid or something. These, these guys look like just a couple washed up fucking huge losers. Okay, like rejected 90s band members. This fucking floral print shirt. These guys are, ugh, it's so cringe and disgusting. But yeah, there's their challenge. We could go head to head with him in a bar and blow him out of water. Okay, I put 10K minimum on it for each of the five of you. Okay, up to 100K minimum. And I said, you guys can select the amounts. Okay, even at a, at a low end. You, if you guys are so confident that I, that, I'm, that I suck so bad at game and that you guys are so awesome. This should be easy money for you in your own stupid head. So take the fucking bet. Stop, stop fucking being silent now after running your mouth. All of us individually It's an official challenge, bro. We would I'm, smoke I'm, this guy. It's an official challenge, bro. We would smoke this guy, right? And I respond, and I up the ante, and there's fucking dead silence, okay? I'm going to make a whole bunch of follow-up videos fucking showing what cowards these guys are. They're, they're big, tough guys on the internet that can run their mouth. The thing is, these guys would have extremely low odds of beating me if it wasn't rigged, okay? If we set this up and it wasn't fucking rigged, I devoted the past 15 to 20 years of my life to optimizing this, okay? 1,383 girls was not an accident. I have an extremely optimized and efficient system. These guys have said their lay counts in other various videos. People have been commenting. I think Danny said he's at like 120. I hit that in October of 2012, okay, nine years ago. And somebody said Leo's at like 150 or something like this. I hit 1,000 back in 2018. I had 100 back in 2012. So these guys do not hold a candle whatsoever to my skills. And if it wasn't rigged and we had proper controls in place and we videotaped it, these guys would get humiliated and lose a fuck ton of money, okay? But they'd like to just issue these this little challenge online and, and then run away like pussies and say nothing when I come back. They didn't expect me to fucking take them up on it and up the stakes, okay, and embarrass the fuck out of them. Hey, John, I'm willing to put this together, buddy. I mean... <laughs> yeah. Let's fucking do it. So wait, how much, how much, how much have you actually talked to him one on one? Have you ever talked to him like over Skype? Leo, do you agree with what I'm saying? Though? Yes, I do. I do. Everybody, I... put myself in the middle of these fucking losers, including Dino, would blow John Anthony out of the fucking water in a pick off Sarge off. Pick up. Look at this guy. This guy's such a fucking like. This is an example of, of a of a fucking repulsive dude to a woman and i'm gonna make follow-on videos fucking showing all the drama in these guys lives apparently they had like little fucking college-age girlfriends that dumped them leo was kicked off the bachelor for like unscrupulous type shit i'm gonna go into all the fucking dirty shit in their little in their little fucked up lives okay but the main part is they want to fucking run their mouths like tough guys okay and then when they're called out on it and I, and I take the challenge. They're just going to go dead silent. That's that's not at all being a man. That's that's not at all being a fucking the hero that they're portraying themselves to be. Oh, we would beat him. We would beat him. Yeah, yeah. And we 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 would out dunk LeBron James and Michael Jordan. We would run circles all day. We would blow them out of the water in basketball. Yeah, anyone can fucking run their mouth about anything. Okay, I'll send you a fucking contract for the bet. Okay, how the, how about that? You're not going to fucking sign it. You're not going to fucking take me on my offer. And it's not a bluff. The, the, the offer is open anytime with all five of you guys. Uh, Sarge off. That sounds awesome. I know. Sarge, Sarge off. Austin, you like how I know the lingo? Yeah. I read the game. Austin, Austin, would, Austin wouldn't even have to approach well, him and they'd approach him. See, of this, course. But this, his dick would be too big, so yeah. he couldn't fuck him. <laughs> right. My problem with this. Now we got these little fucking teenage kids who they were referencing earlier that, that these guys are like stoners. Look, this kid looks like he's like 18 or something like that. And, they're, and they want him in on the challenge too. Yeah. Take the best guy in the game. They, they obviously have no idea who the fuck I am. Okay, I have a whole video detailing out banging a thousand chicks. Take the best guy and, and say the all oh, these little kids could run circles around him. This guy's shit is that like, okay, one, he's at a music video and he's just asking a bunch of girls. Music, music festival. Music festival, just asking girls for numbers. Mm -hmm. When like, realistically, if you're like a guy that's hitting on chicks and trying to get a chick, you talk to maybe one or two chicks for like a while throughout the day. You don't just like get their phone number and leave. Like, I feel like if any of these girls talk to this dude, for longer than 15 minutes, they would be like, fuck this guy, he's a fucking loser. More baseless shit. This is based on nothing, keep in mind, guys. Okay, this is, none of these guys know who I am, they haven't met me. They're basing it off of, oh, we just want to talk shit on people. He got numbers at a music festival. Uh, if any of these girls talk to him for any length, they would just say he's a loser. Okay. I'm out. He can only get them to give him his phone number, and then that's it. Yeah, says this little fucking 
18-year-old kid behind the fucking screen. Okay, but for those of you that missed part one, uh, the 75 videos in two hours was to poke fun at, the, at basically what Simple Pickup was doing. First of all, that video is from 2014, okay? And, and, and I think it's a great video. It's not easy to get 75 numbers in two hours, okay? I, I, I dare anyone watching to try that if they think it's so easy. I banged like five of those girls. A lot of them were tourists uh, that, that were traveling, you know, because it was like a music festival, so a lot of them had traveled from, from a distance. Um, but I did convert five of those numbers on dates. So uh, the thing is, is that video was made to poke fun at how easy it is to get a phone number, okay? Simple pickup at the time was glorifying getting shitty number closes. And me and my old business partner were like, let's see how many numbers we can get in a short period of time and put it on infield and show everyone how dumb it is. Now they're like, he can only get phone numbers. Girls would never want to speak to him. <laughs> Again, based on, I'm not going to keep drilling the same point. Just keep in mind, these are all baseless things. It's, anyone get behind the camera and throw shade on anyone and say anything they want. Okay, it doesn't have to have any basis. That's what's so great about the internet. I, I, I will say he's had a long and storied life. <laughs> You know, his storied life is just that a story. It's a fantasy. It's as real as Rumpelstiltskin. And Leo has like literally zero fucking personality. He just runs off on these tangents. Okay, let's pick out a random person and let's just come up with generic insults. Oh, you said storied life. Oh, his life's a fairy tale. It's as real as Rumpelstiltskin. The fuck are you talking about? I have more proof than the entire rest of the industry of my results. Okay, but it's easy to just again say baseless shit. It's flying spoon. I remember one time you were you were on your. <laughs> <laughs> it's always funny when you say Rumble Rumble Stilskin, Stilskin. man. Austin, I'm not sure you have any game either. I just think you're so stoned most of the time you can't talk enough to talk yourself out of pussy. I don't even think I have very good game. I don't. Okay, now. I don't even think I have. Very, and this guy was one of the ones that was brought in on the bet to beat me. Okay. I don't think so either. I think you're a good looking kid and you don't give a shit. And yeah. I think if you didn't smoke tremendous amounts of weed, you would ruin things for yourself by too much chatter. I just can't believe this guy's going around ruining people's entire concepts of how to talk to women. Again, based on what, retard? I'm curious. In, how, in charging them thousands it's crazy. of dollars. So Kong, how did like, you, I fucking hate this how guy. How did you link up with this guy from the. I fucking hate this guy. I can't believe he's ruining everyone's concepts of talking to women. Again, they, nothing about my tactical game approach, nothing about my strategy. By far the best system in the world with all the results to back that. Again, what, what, why don't you guys try making some arguments based on fucking facts? Beginning, like what's the story? Were you just browsing on YouTube and you got recommended one of his videos or what? Yeah, I got uh, targeted by one of his marketing strategies and <laughs> I saw his ad. And, <laughs> and now he's falling into the, the thing because his friends are like, Oh, let's all rip on this guy. But this this dude here has been defending me the whole time. This guy that was actually my client. He's like, I don't want to be involved in this. He actually helped me a lot. I don't have anything bad to say. I show in the beginning of part one his whole uh, feedback on how he was doing through the course. He said his confidence and charisma went through the roof. He was getting a lot more respect from people. He was banging new girls, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but now he's falling into like the, the let's just rip on a guy for sake of it. But, I got targeted by his marketing strategy. Yeah, I put out free videos on YouTube and tell guys I can help them more if they would like. Yeah, everyone's like, oh my God. Yeah, I was like hooked. I'm like, he's like, I was you're a nerd. targeted, bro, because you're black? No, I think it's because I'm a nerd. Now they said, are you targeted because you're black? Like, yeah, he, in this part two here, they slip in a lot of racism with this dude. Nerd? So like, he, the, his story, his ad pops up. It's like, the n out of 800 kids, I was the biggest loser. He's like... <laughs> He looked all fucked up in high school and shit. <laughs> he said he didn't ever talk to anyone. And he went to college. He didn't even get laid to like his second year of college or some crazy shit like that. And I was like, man, I can relate to this guy. I was a big ass fucking loser too, you know? And um, so then I'm like, man, if he learned how to get pussy, there's a way. And so then I started studying. And then, you know, it gave me motivation to just... <sighs> Keep going like a machine. King Croc, I have to say something though. You, there is, <laughs> black guys have the best game ever. You need a Here comes the racism. black pickup artist guy because you are black. I'm sorry, but you guys have a different <laughs> style. Like there was a joke. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Delia You're used black. to listen. Delia used to just say this joke. He'd be like, a black guy can go up to a girl and just be like, "You smell like peaches, baby." And how is this not?
extremely racist. Pick her up. You know, he's like, oh, imagine a white guy doing that. It's like, you smell like peaches and like you're going to kill her after. You know what I mean? Really really imagine funny. Dino saying that. He'd have yeah, two eyes should. full of pepper spray before you could say rape. You we smell, should get Dino uh, to smell, actually uh, use that. Uh, line you smell so. like peaches. Peaches. This fucking dude, I think you might be on to something, Leo. Mm -hmm. This dude. Maybe the reason he's succeeding so much is because all the competition at this music festival looks like the guy in the jersey behind him. Mm -hmm. He does. Okay, so to recap their explanations for how I got 75 numbers in two hours, for those of you that missed part one, he must have paid the girls. Yeah, 75 strangers on hidden camera. Uh, he must have known all the girls. Now, that's very plausible as well. Uh, the girls must all be too fucked up, and, they're, and they don't know what's going on. Um, another explanation was, uh, they all just can't wait to get away from him. So they're giving out their number and they don't have any intention of texting him back. Okay. Now it's because all the competition at the music festival is, is subpar. Okay. Th th look at how far he's reaching. Okay. Maybe everyone else has CGI and he was the only one that was capable of getting the number. They, the Everybody here is a loser. Press play. Let's keep watching. Everybody here is a loser. And that isn't that a fucking true statement, especially these two fucking big losers up in the painting. Shit a little bit. Ten's, ten's too many for me. And I do one spun around. Oh my god. Rewind that? Let's rewind. Alright, now here, here's, here's uh, fucking Danny. Not being able to cope, because he's a loser. Okay, and I actually banged this one in the fucking pink. So let's watch this. Okay, I get the girls to turn around. My business partner was taking a photo. Oh my god. These girls just want to run away. Listen, listen to how sad it... This is directly uh, at odds with with what's being shown on hidden camera. But listen to Danny's pathetic attempt to make fun of him. Oh my God! Rewind that. Let's rewind that. Let's turn that up. Oh my dude, this guy, this guy is a liar and a fool. Okay, two hot girls posing with me and saying you better text me makes me a liar and a fool. Wow. We've got some nice fucking deduction going on here by Danny fucking Loser Mullen himself. Ten's, ten's too many for me. And I do one spun around. These girls went right home and took a shower. These girls went right home and took a shower. And they only said, you better text me because they were just trying to get away as fast as possible to bathe themselves. Well, there it is, Danny. You fucking... I want to say a lot more words here that I don't, I don't want to get in trouble on YouTube for saying. Again, you better text me. The hot girls are obviously interested. And his his take on this is that they can't wait to run home and shower. Okay. After that interaction. Right, Did you hear that? Do, do, do one spun around. I want, I want my followers. Did you hear that uh, little fucking loser potheads and, and sitting around here with our little fucking apparel? The, this is this is the ch the squad challenging me. Did you guys hear that? He told them to show their asses to the camera, and they said, "You better text me." Wow, those girls were probably ready to run home and just bathe all the germs off. Was on Instagram to see your buttocks. No, I mean that's what he just did. The grants, was, Leo. How creepy was that? Why don't you have my I, back on this? I have your back on it. I just I'm shocked, man. I don't know what's going on. I, I'm thinking that he might have paid some of these. The, the, oh, back to the yeah, he must have paid. If any girl shows attraction, especially on hidden camera, they must have been paid. Okay, write that down. So fucking dumb. Okay, this is what this is how an alpha man talks to a fucking hot chick. Okay, get it? It's it's fucking sexual flirting. Show your ass. There's no fighting to have a fucking Instagram. Okay, there's no there's no doing this for Instagram. Okay, like like you guys would try to be cool on camera. Okay, this is actual game. This is actual being alpha with hot girls. Maybe even those girls. Music festivals have like the whole girls go there just to be sluts, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay, now we have a <laughs> now we have a new theory. Okay, if they weren't paid and I didn't know the, know them and they're not all on fucking drugs and drunk and trying to get away and take a shower, they're all just sluts. Oh yeah, in the, in the competition, all the competition's so poor. Okay, now now they're all just going there to be sluts. Okay, that's the new explanation here. These are all so far out of out of out of uh, the realm of reality. It's it's hilarious. They're reaching and reaching and reaching and reaching to like the most extreme skepticism possible, which makes them look fucking stupid. Maybe the girl was attracted because she said, "You better text me." 
Okay, that that's a little bit more plausible, dummy. That's true. I mean, they could be hitting, hammered. They could be hammered. Target. Look, whatever he's is going on here, I I'm just I'm worried that why do you think this is something that's worth thirty eight hundred dollars? Let's we should keep watching this, Leo. Let's we'll talk to King Croc after we watch this play out. I want to see more crimes against humanity on camera here. <laughs> yeah, it's a crime against humanity when a hot chick is showing direct interest in a man. Fifty three so far. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's it say? Oh shit! <laughs> Do you see her thing? Eight one eight. Sorry, are you six one nine? Six one nine. Look at these moves! Holy shit! What was your name? One of the explanations in the part one was that oh, he must be dubbing the phone numbers with voiceover after like like fucking editing tricks. He's not really getting phone numbers. It's all dubbed over. Oh my god. Fucking take the bet, pussies. You're gonna talk all day. Fucking talk trash all day in the face of, of real game. Play it. Take the bet. Easy money for you, right? 500k. 100k a piece. We'll sign the contracts. We'll televise it all on YouTube. We won't let you rig it. And you guys will be made fools. Okay, and I'll have a half million dollars extra. Okay, for, for showing you what happens when you run your mouth on the internet. Okay, I don't want to fucking come on your channel. Oh, we'll put him on our social media. No, bet cold hard cash. Okay, I don't want to be associated with your fucking shit brand. Okay, so take the bet. Show me how good you are at pickup. Since you claim to be way better than me, your whole cast, show me. Tim, I'm impressed. Come on, you too. It's a good dancer. Tim, what is it? No. He's got good lines. Takes a damn at the end. Bang this one. I got infield of the date of this one too, of the the date from start to finish. Oh, oh, okay. All right, are you doing this right now? Like this? He has the strategy of just talking to women. His strategy is just talking to women. Wow, how profound. Six one nine. Zero five. Six one nine. No one even said anything about that. His strategy is just talking to women. That's how he gets laid. He talks to them. <laughs> oh my God. Someone fucking kill me. Yeah. <laughs> These girls are sexy as shit. These girls are my new lovers. Fuck yeah. <laughs> 909. 909. Here, I'll put my number in your phone. She's pretty relaxed. I need to see at least a makeout. This guy is not gonna get a makeout. I have shitloads of makeouts on infield. 949. Grab some ass. That's only because she's so high on ecstasy. She only let me touch her butt because she's high in ecstasy. She thinks he's a centaur. Fulfilling one of her childhood fantasies. They're working for tips. Now the girls are working for tips. And she thinks she's a centaur. And she's fulfilling a childhood fantasy. I'm going to make a video. which will be more waste of time. Listing all the plausible explanations. Okay, Maybe these girls are all aliens. Maybe they're all computer simulations. Okay, Maybe this entire thing was CGI'd. Okay, and this is not, none of this ever happened. What if we saw uh, Cassidy in this? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the one to make out with him. Cassidy is anime bitch, by the way, people. Uh, that'd be funny. I would let him make out with my chick. What? No, I mean, not with my chick. I mean, I wouldn't be mad. What? Now, the funny part about making that video was when we were in line to go into that festival, we realized. Now listen to this, uh, these guys are talking over this so they don't get to hear it. But I'm saying how when we were in line, they were saying uh, absolutely no video recording. And what we did was we smuggled in a GoPro literally under my ball sack, okay, in my, in my boxer shorts. The GoPro was under my balls because they were doing a pat down and there was nowhere to put it. So I, I explained that here, these guys are fucking drowning it out. They had a big sign that said no camera equipment, right? And they were doing pat downs. So I actually had to take the GoPro. We were using a GoPro Hero camera. Daddy, did you hear what Croc just said? In my pants. Uh, sorry, I'm listening to. No oh, joke. you put it in his just ball the, sack. Holy shit, for the dude. Footage. Oh, so that was awesome. a fun experience. Now, okay, press pause. We can get track. rid of this. He looks so, like he's getting a DUI mugshot right now. He does. He does he, look he like that. He was an alcoholic. He was. So first of all, King Croc, what did you have to say? I had to say, um... No, I didn't say any. What, I, what did I he said, say? He said he'd let him uh, make out with his girl. I heard that. He doesn't have a girl, so that's not saying much. Yeah. This guy, yeah. King Karak, how can you watch what we all just watched and really think that this guy is worth a damn with women? Okay. First of all, I got 75 numbers in two hours. 
that's a pretty big fucking deal. Okay, even if you you guys are making for oh yeah numbers aren't the video, I agree, they're not that big of a deal. That was the point of the video. It's still not an easy task to get seventy five numbers in two hours. It's a lot of fucking numbers. Number two, there was a lot of physicality. There was clear interest. Girls, some of the hottest ones saying you better text me. Some of the hottest ones fucking hugging up on me and shit. Why? How is that not showing anything? Okay, these guys are acting like it's it's like the like the zero was shown here. Okay. Um, how do you think he amounts to a hill of beans? <laughs> with now we you know, bring in the team. His life is Rumpelstiltskin. How do you think he amounts to a hill of beans by getting seventy five phone numbers? Let's see Danny get seventy five phone numbers in two hours. Never would happen. The girls would be like, "Ew, gross." Who's that fucking rejected nineties? fucking rock band member probably jerks off in his basement and does lsd pussy i've just watched so many hours of his content that's what it is and i think you've been hypnotized is i it, think you've lost touch with the reality okay now if he watched content that must mean he's lost touch with reality mm -hmm. oh i was watching a lot of lebron james's games and i wanted to see how he was using his techniques and when he played basketball Oh, that's because you've been hypnotized and you've lost touch with reality. You should never watch LeBron James's games. Huh. It's it's like so I was a philosophy major. It's it's fun actually debating people that are making valid points, okay, versus baseless points. It's very clear that Danny's whole game plan is just to say baseless things, okay? And that literally ha just use expressions that he thinks are funny that are pretty lame and just apply them to some person that he knows nothing about uh, so, to try to get his little fucking loser friends to laugh. That's Danny Mullen in a nutshell. As far as what it means to successfully pick up a lady. I will say this. Uh, I have I have over 100 full-length pulls on camera from walking up to a stranger to taking the girl home, okay? That's all documented on hidden camera footage, okay? I don't think Danny has even one of those, as most people don't, not even the dating coaches, okay? And he's going to tell me, oh, how do you know that he can take a girl home? As I said, more proof than the rest of the industry can buy. The video that but he's I... terrible, King Croc. No, on, on... That was nothing. That was nothing. Okay, that that was less than nothing. That was negative infinity. Nothing. It's probably not the best example. He uh, does have a better video where it's like all my no, proof no, of the women I've Categorically, touched. that was an awful effort to seduce the opposite sex. That would be like if a guy was trying to sell you on a bat. Hold on. No. Again. At the beginning of that video, I said, look, we're going to see how many numbers we can get in a short period of time to show you guys that getting numbers aren't a big deal. Now they're taking out of context. Oh, that's his effort to seduce a woman is getting a bunch of phone numbers. He is categorically the worst, I do declare. And I doubt he's even been with 15 girls. And I'd be very surprised if half were conscious. And our whole little loser pack here officially challenge him. And when he accepts... We'll be massive pussies and say nothing back, okay? Which is exactly what's happening. Okay? Full crickets. Big fucking internet tough guys that can't back up jack shit, okay? Because they know they would be fucking humiliated and I would wipe the floor with Basketball them. clinic and his first free throw he used to entice you didn't make it halfway down the key. And it was underhand. It was really bad. If he yeah, that's a great analogy. Mm-hmm. Getting 75 phone numbers on infield is tantamount to throwing a free throw underhanded and then not, not even going halfway. Okay. Yeah. Terrific. Any bold it. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I think you should just type in black pickup artist on YouTube and we go back to the races. that could be your new pickup artist coach. What about that guy with the yoga? Leon. That, yeah. Leon. You, you hang out well, with Leon. Let me, let me ask you if this is true or not. What I've heard from John himself and some other people is that really good looking guys don't always sleep with the most women you know they tend they they appear to be but they it's don't It's true actually... I, why why are you why are you saying that it's like i'm i'm not telling you to go get a good looking coach i'm just telling you to go i think that i think you need the approach watch danny's hand manners by the way i used to be a rave dj i would bet that danny mullen used to be a hard fucking drug user okay that would be my guess who knows but the way he has all these little ticks and these little things and his little fidgets and all that shit and his whole little look here, I would venture to guess that this motherfucker is abusing hard drugs and probably still is on the side.
Okay, that's my guess. I think you need to work with your strengths, and one of your strengths is being a big black man. But what, what yeah, I'm saying is definitely. I can see that this guy is not bad looking, not great looking, whatever. I think he's got the perfect look for a pickup artist, mm. but he has the personality of a fax machine. <laughs> I can tell from what he's doing, he's not flirting, he's not being witty. Or uh, I have the personality of a fax machine. Did you learn that in comedy school, Danny? That is hilarious. I am I am laughing so hard. This guy this guy is like one of the most repulsive guys on the internet. Danny Mullen freed the slaves of all these retards messaging me this on YouTube comments and, and, and emails and Instagram messages. Danny Mullen freed the slaves. Okay. Thanks. Go tell someone else. Okay, that's really that's not even slightly funny to me. Um especially when when it's such a huge fucking loser wearing a hat like that and having this joke like that. Um yeah. Personally, affection. Again, I didn't fucking air the entire interactions. I'm not demonstrating uh, full flirtation and stuff like that. The purpose was to simply get quick numbers to demonstrate that it's easy. Or funny. He's not doing anything other than coming off creepy in low definition, shaky GoPro footage. This guy is. See, this dude got tons of value in my course. He doesn't want to say anything bad. And, and again, it's basically shit. Well, how is it coming off creepy? The girl's like, you better text me. And they're like, she can't wait to run home and shower. It's not creepy at all. Not successful with women. This guy's whole pickup business, and I'm beginning to think this is very common in this pickup world. Now, now again, more basis assertions. This guy is not successful with women. Based on what, dumbass? Okay, as I said, more proof than the whole industry. Far more proof than your whole crew. Okay, there's a tiny fraction of my proof. is far more proof than your whole crew will ever have in their whole lives. Okay, so what? Wait, where are you gonna go run your mouth? Hundred infield pulls, start to finish. What does that say? Does that does that mean that I have zero skills with women? I'm unsuccessful with women. His business is built on sand. Okay, here we go. More baseless shit. Based on it's built on sand. Everyone, write that down. Okay, based on what? There's well, nothing on. behind it. He He's has... good at the marketing. He's bad at interacting with women. He's living. It's actually the opposite. I'm terrific at interacting with women. I never really given much of a shit about the marketing. And that's always what's what's lagged behind. That's why these other fucking loser channels are so much bigger. With three Brazilian women, and they have. Yeah, he's living with three Brazilian women. Oh yeah, I guess they didn't know about that. Only fans, and you know. You know who else is so living with fucking slutty hot chicks? Some guy I can't think of off the top of my head. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You can Tom get. Cruise? You can entice women to live with you for various reasons. For Here we go. More basic shit. I don't know. Money. He's, maybe he's paying with it. Maybe he's paying them. Maybe he just posted an ad. Rooms for rent must be women. Maybe it's uh, it's all CGI again. Yeah, now now it's room. Now it's rooms for rent must be women. Okay. Must be from Brazil. Must be only fan chicks. Must be from Brazil. I'm living in Brazil, dumbass. There are women who meet those categories in various big cities who need a room. All I'm saying is, I think oh uh, you know alpha alpha guys like us, we can get along with. <laughs> Alpha guys like us. Yeah. I wouldn't call any one of the five of these guys alpha. Okay. That a lot of you watching probably think Leo is because he pretends the best. Okay. And, and tries to play the part. Okay. But believe you me, women would run far away from all five of these fucking losers. Other alphas. There's, there's tons of alpha guys in the world. I'm just saying. Like, what does that have to do with him? I don't know. King, like, King like Croc, alpha, I, I think know. this guy is not right for guiding your penis. This guy is not the right man to teach you how to have more sex. He probably took the three thousand dollars you gave him, and then he gave a twenty to each one of the chicks in that video. <laughs> oh yeah, back to the pay. He must have paid them three. Mm -hmm. Infield footage. I, I gave twenty dollars to seventy-five girls and said, "Here, have fake interactions with me, so I can take your phone number to festival." Yep. And that's how he fucking made the video. <laughs> that's how he funded this. <laughs> hey, you do you like have some? Comedy. Is there some kind of attachment? Do you like him? Like, what? What is it? Like, no, I mean, you know, he was my mentor for weeks. I would meet with him every week, like multiple times a week. Where? Where would you meet? No, with? on digital, on Zoom, and we would go over my lays, you know, my attempts, what's going on with that. This must have been a pretty short meeting. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, but you know, the attempts was up there. The attempts were up there. Okay, so you know. Uh, we talked. Uh, we talked about a lot of attempts. Okay, we talked about a lot of attempts, and um, you got to get another Zoom, dude. You got to get another Zoom, and Dino and Danny and me are all going to be naked behind you, and you just have to deny that we're even there the whole time. Yeah. Now Leo's proposing that 
that uh, some naked men, him and his little fucking loser cohorts, go behind my student and, and appear naked as a joke. Okay, yeah, that'll show me. His suggestion earlier in part one was that King Croc send me a dick pic. Okay, a lot of fucking homoerotic stuff going on over here with Leo. That would them. be fucking hilarious. It's your backer. Yeah, that's great, Leo. That's a great idea. I'll just get. I'm sure you guys hang out naked all the time. Yeah. But you know, John, I know you're a co you're a competitive guy. You like to talk shit too. You know, we're shit talkers. We we got tough skin over here. So, you know what I mean? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's it's nice to fucking talk shit. But if it's gonna be all baseless and you're also gonna throw out a challenge at me and I accept it, then don't be fucking pussies. Okay, and I'm talking about you, Abu Darren, the the student, King Croc. I'm talking to Leo and I'm talking to Danny. Okay, and Cigar Guy, and what are the other guys' names? Austin and Dino. I want the five of you to put your fucking money where your mouth is. Okay, I looked up Danny Mullen's net worth. He has it. He's good for it. So put 100K on each of you. Tough guy. Okay, let's see what you got. I'm ready. You guys are fucking silent from your end. You know? I think you're just really concerned you're going to burn this bridge with your I think, so. I think so, too. He wants no, more I coaching. Mean, he, he's the kind of guy where, you know, I, we could all get into something. You know what I'm saying? Something that's beneficial for everybody. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of want to maintain. <laughs> if I know, want to learn how to make my girlfriend stop loving me, I'll watch his videos. <laughs> and for the record, his girlfriend did stop loving him. His fucking college-age girlfriend dropped Danny and, and another fucking little young kid dropped Leo. We'll have a follow-up video on that. Uh, I hope you guys can see how fucking lame these guys are. It's very, very sad. I'll put up my Proof for 100 Girls video again and the info card to that. We'll link to that at the end. I highly suggest you watch that so you can see all the proof. It's not my opinion versus theirs. I have more proof than the whole rest of the dating industry combined. Okay. If you'd like to learn my full system, you can jump on a free 30-minute call and we will go over the details of how we can make you very good very fast. You can also subscribe and press the notification bell for new videos every single day. Thank you for wasting a bunch of time with me. I am off to fucking go eat a dinner prepared by the three girls. Okay? Thank you, guys. More videos to come. Keep being pussies, Leo and Danny. Fucking losers. And Jay don't stand in line. I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game. I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models. And you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon My dick smell like two chicks before noon